Hey everybody, Clay here with Clay Jarvis Guitar. Welcome to my beginner guitar series. In the last video, we learned how to read a chord diagram. In this video, we're going to talk about three chords that as a beginner, I recommend you learn first. And we're going to talk about three strum patterns that are very important to learn as well. Coming up. So our first chord we want to talk about is the E major chord looks and sounds like that right there so you've got your top string your open e string and then you've got your bottom two strings are open you got your first finger on the third string first fret you've got your third finger on the fourth string second fret you've got your second finger on the fifth string second fret so once again, it looks like that right there. And what you want to do is make sure that you can hear every note. That's very important because you don't want to be hearing any of this right here where you're missing like a note or hitting the wrong you know, string or something of that nature. So once you can hear every note, everything sounds pretty good right there. Let's go ahead and talk about our strum patterns. Strum pattern number one is simply going to be four down strokes. So it's just one, two, three, four. So one, two, three, four. Looks like this right here. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One. Now our second strum pattern is going to have one upstroke on the three and. So whenever we say and, that's going to be an upstroke. So it kind of looks like this. One, two, three, and four. One, two, three, and four. Sometimes it kind of helps you to tap your foot if you want to try that to understand the downbeats and the upbeats. Here is that strum pattern. One, two, three, and four. So the third strum pattern is going to be another and or another upstroke on the four and. So it looks like one, two, three, and four, and one, two, three, and four, and. So check it out. One, two, three, and four, and one, two, three, and four, and one. All right, so the next chord we're going to learn is going to be the A major chord. And it looks like this right here. Sounds like this. So we start with the fifth string, the open A note. And then the bottom string is going to be open. And so the second, third, and fourth strings, we're going to play the second fret. So you can do this a few different ways with your finger positions. You can play with your first three fingers like this. Or you can play like this. Or you could use your second, third, and fourth fingers and leave the index finger out of it and play it like that. Whatever feels comfortable to you. And remember, once again, you want to play every note. Make sure you're not hearing none of this right here. So here we go. First strum pattern. One. Second strum pattern. One, two, three, and four. One, two, three, and four. One. And our third strum pattern. One, two, three, and four. And one, two, three, and four. And one. Now, if you notice my thumb, it's behind the neck for the most part. But on this particular chord, I can go ahead and bring my thumb up just enough to where I can kind of barely touch that top string. That way, if I do play the top string, it's not going to matter because it's muted. So just a little bonus tip here. So hey, let me know if this video has been helpful for you so far by giving it a thumbs up. And consider subscribing for more videos just like this to help you go further, faster with guitar. All right, so let's go with our third chord. That's going to be our D major. 
looks like that right there. And on this chord here, we're not playing the top two strings. So we're starting with the fourth string, the open D. And now our index finger one is going to be on the second fret on the third string. Our second finger is going to be on the first string second fret. Third finger is going to be on the second string third fret. So once again, play all your notes. Make sure you're not hearing any of that. And away we go. First strum pattern. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, one. Second strum pattern. One, two, three, and four. One, two, three, and four. One. And our third strum pattern. One, Now on this chord here, we're not playing the top two strings, but if we do hit the fifth string, that A note right there, it's not going to hurt anything at all because that A note is part of the D major chord. So it's not a big deal. Once again, I hope you got value from this video. To see a playlist of all of my beginner guitar series videos, click on the link right here and we'll see you in the next video. Hey.